Do you like roller coasters? I know I do, or at least I did. I've been to King's Dominion, Bush Gardens, Cedar Point, Six Flags, Disneyland, and Disney World. And I tell you what, I loved it every single time. I would get on the biggest and the baddest roller coaster there was, and I would ride that thing first. But you know what? I never ever thought about who was in control of the roller coaster. And what I discovered that underneath every roller coaster, even the big ones, there was a control area where there was at least one controller who was making sure that everything was going correctly. All of the controls were in this one specific area and one or two persons would make sure that everything was all right. In our lesson this week, Daniel is given yet another vision. This vision is about a goat and a horn and a date or time is given in this vision. And Daniel discovers that God yet again is predicting the events of the future. And even though Daniel, as he comes out of the vision, is a little bit exhausted and a little bit discouraged because of what he hears in the vision, he can rely on the fact that God is in full control. So just like when you go get on a roller coaster and you don't see anybody around, but you know that somebody is controlling what's happening, you can be assured that God is still in control of everything that is happening in our world. I know many times it seems like it's crazy. You have storms, you have a pandemic on one side, you have political unrest, you have so many things that seem out of control, but you know what? God has already predicted these things will happen and God will come out triumphant even in your personal life and personal experience. If you will commit your way to God, you'll trust God. God will also control and orchestrate the events of your life. And you won't have to worry, just like getting on that roller coaster, knowing that God is in full control.